The sustainability of fisheries resources depends heavily on having a robust fisheries management scheme in place. Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing undermines such a fisheries management process and therefore needs to be combated. Illegal fishing is quite easy to understand. It is something that goes against legislation or regulations. Unreported fishing is fishing that actually takes place, which may be perfectly legal, but there is no reporting of the catches or the activities that have taken place. And this is very um, damaging because that information on, of how much fish is taken out of the water uh, and the fishing activities that take place need to be plugged into the um, formula, let us say, in drawing up the uh, fisheries management advice for the coming years. So um, there is a gap in information um, that is uh, going to undermine the fisheries management process. Unregulated fishing is simply like having an activity where there are no regulations in place and therefore there is uh, no control, um, no management, uh, and uh, it just take, takes place in a haphazard way. It is just like, having, uh, just like driving in the streets without having any drive traffic regulations. Small-scale fisheries are particularly vulnerable to IUU fishing. Uh, since uh, IU fishing is going to uh, affect the abundance of fish stocks in the sea, then there's going to be less resources available for the small-scale fishers to take. Not only that, but if IU fishing uh, derived catches find themselves into the, um, into, the, into the markets, then that is going to impact, have an impact on the economics of the fisheries sector and may have a direct impact on the profitability of small-scale fishers. Not only that, but IU fishing is often associated with destructive fishing practices and uh, then it could leave very long-term uh, effects on the marine environment uh, and therefore in turn has an impact on the, on the fish stocks which will be available. Um, Having said that, we must not forget that uh, IU fishing is not only conducted by large industrial uh, fishing vessels, but it could also take place within the small-scale fisheries sector as well, so that needs to be addressed equally. The international community over the years has laid down a set of minimum responsibilities which flag states, that is states which um, license fishing vessels, um, which these states should take uh, in, rela in relation to regulating the activities of their vessels. They have also s laid down uh, a set of norms to deal with the foreign fishing vessels fish uh, visiting their, their ports uh, and making sure that these fishing vessels have not engaged in IU fishing. FAO has provided a forum for deliberations over the years to lay down the minimum standards required for flag, port, coastal and market states to follow. Most recently, the adoption of the agreement on port state measures uh, could be considered as a major milestone uh, for, for FAO. There are 55 parties to the agreement on port state measures so far, including the European Union, and many of them have already started implementing fully the provisions. This means that doors are being closed to fishing vessels which have engaged in IU fishing, making it more difficult for them to continue to operate. Furthermore, FAO has engaged in delivering a, a global capacity development program to help developing states improve their capacity to monitor their own fleets, to monitor foreign vessels visiting their ports, and to monitor their coastal zone so that they would ensure the sustainability of fisheries resources within their waters.